it were the Rochester Rhinos who broke the draw in the 78th minutes. And as the final whistle blew, St. Louis FC unable to find the finishing touch, the Rochester Rhinos took home the victory 1-0. We hadn't seen a team that organized, that athletic, um, yet this year. And, and so really getting our, getting our nose wet a little bit, trying to figure out what the level's like is... Uh, as part of this acclimation period. Um, but that was a really good test for us. And having said that, we lose 1-0. Um, for good parts of the game, we had better of it. And we had a couple of, of big chances, one in particular, that could have put us in the lead. So, um, you know, we lost. We wanted three points, particularly here at home. But I think we took away that, uh, that we can play with the top teams in the league. It's a chance for the energy in the middle. Just goal! They've gone through that first year, you know, they've gone through what it, uh, you know, the first year of competing in the league, trying to get to an understanding about what the level is like. So now they have a, a clear picture. Uh, Coach Nielsen dropped a number of players after last year's season, added, uh, added new players that could compete, and now they're, you know, now they're doing really well. We know of things that we're going to be able to expose. We just want to be able to play our game, play better than what we did this past weekend, and we feel like that that the, the quality of the players that we have will, uh, will help us find new chances and find ways to get to the goal. First on the ball, we, we just felt like that we didn't have a rhythm. Guys were kind of hiding from the game a little bit. Um, so we, we addressed that in training. And then just more urgency and intensity in the way that we defend to help create chances for ourselves.